Hey guys, welcome to another one of my videos. Well, I know it's been two weeks since last time I actually vlogged and I'm back out here in the fresh air. Uh, gonna give you guys some tips about what I've learned about vlogging. I know that I've been, it's not, I'm not like a professional at it or I'm not pro at it, uh, but I have learned some stuff through watching videos and watching other YouTubers do it. And I just wanted to give you guys some of the tips that I've learned and let's let's go to it so tip number one that i've learned about vlogging uh, sometimes you guys wonder like how can i do it with, if i don't have a good camera or uh, i don't have a eight megapixel camera my one's a five so then i don't have much uh, good quality in it but i use that for videoing it's my phone that i'm using and i use a selfie stick so that i can control angles instead of stretching out my arm or stuff like that uh, I can have it very closer like for and stuff like that and guys uh, like camera is like the most important thing about vlogging that like, obviously you need a camera to be able to vlog and tip number two that I've learned about uh, vlogging would probably be language if you guys do not have a good literature if you guys do not have a good literature, then it's going to be complicated for the person to uh, understand what you're trying to do. Like sometimes you, you don't have to uh, get stuck what, 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 with what exactly. Get stuck with what you want to say, like I just did. You know. uh, it's kind of uh, hard like when you guys don't think things through about what you're going to say before you say it. Then you end up saying just gibberish stuff, stuff, and guys, that's like one of the main things that you guys gotta know about be able, be able to talk and vlog, because throughout vlogging, you guys have to be able to connect with your audience and connect what you want them to hear about you or what you want them to know. So you guys gotta know how to talk to them and try not to get mixed up, by especially when you guys bring out one topic, don't jump to another one and then you remember back to the same topic you gotta make sure you stay in one topic then move to the other one and keep yourself well organized and tip number three that i basically learned like uh there well basically it's not a tip but more well it's a tip from me to you guys what apps do i use to do my videos uh i use basically what i use to edit my videos is uh, this app called uh, Is this app called Video Shop? Uh, I use it usually to edit my videos, like to cut them uh, and do different stuff with it, like adding music and stuff like that. Because it's a very good app. Because I don't, it doesn't have like the name of the the app in the corner like other apps. So then I prefer that because um, I don't like my videos with promoting a brand or anything. But also I love I love the app because I, it doesn't show the, the brand of the app. But it's still I have see more of the content inside my videos uh, the second app that I use is for my thumbnails you guys can see sometimes in my videos I have an image in front that's my thumbnails that I use for my videos and as uh, the name of the app is called pixeler you guys can check it in App Store App to it whatever Play Store you guys can check it and you guys can find it it's called pixeler it's a good app for editing some good thumbnails but you guys can also use different ones they have like Pixar they have different other uh, Photoshop apps and if you guys want to try them out you guys can and I uh, guys it's like really easy to use and sometimes what I've learned about like when you guys do your own vlog tip well this tip number four I think hold up tip number four that I've learned about vlogging will basically be uh, you guys have to use your own music or your own sound sometimes I actually copyright some stuff and it's not right for me to do because I could get my account blocked or something so if you guys want to make sure you guys keep your account safe you guys got to make sure you use your own music sometimes I make some own sounds and I put them in the background and it's good to put that between your when your vlog when you're talking because it's very quiet whenever you guys just put up you know, only a talking and don't put any sound beside it
number I forgot what number I'm on I'm in uh, tip number whatever I think I already forgot uh, also guys like when you guys are videoing make sure you guys have a good location where the video I need you to come out here in this view but it's kind of complicated because uh, you guys are trying like trying to only make yourself sound but if there are vehicles there are people around it might sound in your mic so you guys gotta find a good quiet area like usually like bloggers they actually do it in a quiet room to make sure there's no sound but I usually when I do my vlogs I do it from outside out here in the field and it's kind of hard to do it when people are passing around but you gotta get used to it because sooner or later uh, you want to blog in front of people and then like something important but then you guys can't because you're shy it's gonna be really complicated I would say one of the most important thing is about sound effects like basically with, my, with the app that I use uh, well yeah I'm bringing up the app again uh, don't do that guys yeah uh, I edit the sounds like putting them inside and usually you guys gotta put sound during the time you guys are talking because it's very quiet when you guys just let just go and talk and talk and talk and talk sometimes the viewer he might get just bored of hearing you guys talk but if there's like a background music or anything like that, the, the, the person might actually uh, stay more and listen more to what you gotta say uh, well that's some of the tips that I've learned you guys can also try making some good introductions because uh, the most important thing about a video is the way how you introduce yourself to the audience like my, my introduction you guys would probably see that I put uh, Danny J Guns that's the name I have the reason why I have that name is because I well basically that's my name title for all video games that I played in so that's how you guys might find me yeah make sure to subscribe below guys uh, I love the support of some of my friends who are telling me about how I'm doing with my videos and it's pretty cool hearing that from you guys because hey, you guys I can see the support that you guys are giving me to these videos and I hope you guys keep enjoying them and give me some suggestions and just write it down guys